Everyone, welcome to the next episode of Rev Plays, not for broadcast. This came from my Twitch stream. We're doing the Telethon chapter day, which was another bonus chapter that doesn't directly affect the story. We did the Lockdown chapter previously, and today we're going to be working on the Telethon chapter. This one is back in like the 50s, so the things you have to censor are a little bit more tame, because like bullocks and stuff like that you couldn't say on TV back in like the 50s when this is supposed to take place. So that, that's what we're going to be doing today. There is a little bit of humor that probably doesn't hold up to modern day, but they did that on purpose as well. But without giving away too much, this is not for broadcast, the telethon chapter. Do not forget, if you like the content, like, comment, subscribe, you know the, the spiel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. But let's get into the telethon, Arthur. That Not Games did on how actually filming during a lockdown. that you've replaced Dave in the control room, and your performance so far has been mostly adequate. However, I'll need to observe myself to check you're up to snuff, and to that end, you'll now be mixing an old recorded broadcast to ensure you can do the job to my satisfaction. Don't worry, other than the old hair and jump in the oh. dodge due to age, it shouldn't require you to I'm deal an idiot. with anything new. This has the coils. Keep an eye on the sensor. They had stricter sensibilities in those days. And of course, don't forget to load the adverts. Bozeman out. Bozeman out. All right, it's time for the telethon. Jazz punk. Oh, I'm. Hey, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, that was dude, that. Would, shit was insane. Uh, I think actually just now the finale for jazz punk dropped. This is an absolute nightmare. And tomorrow the DLC uh, playthrough will drop in its entirety. Can we even continue? Well, you'll have to think of something. We'll go live in ten seconds. Uh, all right, I'll keep looking for someone. I guess we'll just have to wing it until uh, then. Can you count us in? Oh, sure. Going live in five, four, three, two, one. Live from the capital, it's the St. Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for St. Fanny's Hospital. And please welcome your host, it's the Dream Boat, Graham Bannon. Hello, it only is. Hello, oh. it's Mr. Bannon. Got one of them. Well, congratulations, them. though. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, that can be a very, a very uh, terrifying thing to do. My, lady, my nephew lady. did the same. Then at least have my babies, babies. No, don't give me a maybe, maybe, no. I know what women are like. Do you know what? I, 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 sorry, I, I know I'm supposed to be... Sorry, stop the music, stop the music. I mean, I, I, yeah, I know, I know I'm supposed to be starting the show, but I can't help but notice... It. I mean, where's the audience? <laughs> I mean, who are you? I mean, this is an absolute nightmare, isn't it really? I mean, oh, we are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first annual St. Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. I'm your host, Graham Bannon, and it is an absolute pleasure to be here. We are here tonight, as we may be aware, for one very important cause, and that is, of course, Little Sally Button. Little Sally Button has a life-threatening condition, and she will die tonight, unless we can raise enough funds to cure her of her studio, studio hyper, um, studio, I should learn that, studio hypo, uh, poo, 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 poo. I don't know how to say that word, but what I do know <laughs> is it's a long word and a bad disease. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to raise 20 grand tonight and we can't do it without your help. And how can I help you screaming at home? Well, don't scream and I'll tell you. <laughs> We're taking donations starting right now. But let's beat feet and head over to the blowers. Uh, the phones, not the girls. <laughs> Jazz hands. Hello, hello, ladies. Good evening, Graham. Tell you something, ladies. Uh, those are some classy chassis, if you don't mind me saying so. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so, so, girls, um, would one of you kitty cats please let the viewers at home know exactly why you're here this evening? Yes, sir. Uh, us kitty cats will be taking calls from across the country to raise money for this little girl. If you would like to donate, no matter how large or small, please ring now. I'll tell you, I'll be giving you a ring later. An engagement ring if you play your cards, right? Now that was a zinger. If I do a, if I do a zinger, play the sound. 
the asset. I'll check in with you later. It's time to have a look at how much money we're starting <laughs> off with tonight. Using state-of-the-art technology that we can track up to the second exactly how much money has been raised from your donations. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, look, let's have a look at how much we're starting off with tonight. OK, looks like we're not starting off with any money tonight. It's a bit strange. I'm surprised they didn't put something in just to show, really. But um, perhaps it's a little unclear of how you donate still. Um, how about I cut the gas and show you what's what, Daddy-O's? Uh, Daddy-O's. OK, so I'll pretend to be you at home. This is role play. You really can do this in real life from your sofa or couch. It's ringing. So, uh... Hello, who am I speaking to, please? Hello, you're speaking to Barbara at the phone desk. Hello, Barbara at the phone desk. You have a beautiful voice. OK. Uh, I'd like to donate your <laughs> tenner, please. I'm finding it hard to hear you. Your phone doesn't actually work. You're going to have to be louder. I'd like to donate a tenner, please. Thank you, sir. What a generous donation. We ask who's calling. You, you don't have to do that, do you? You know, you know who's calling, don't you? It's Graham Bannon. And how do you spell <laughs> Bannon? Don't say that. People would know how to say my name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, if if you notice, his name is Graham Bannon. The other one from the other broadcast name is Patrick Bannon. So it's actually like his probably I would say. Grandson, maybe? Son, grandson, something like that. There we go. And so we, if, I, if I'm correct, there should be 10 on it now. Look at that. Technology at its finest. 10 on it now. So only 19,990 <laughs> remaining, which should be a Bannon breeze. You, oh, you know of a grand... Oh, a Gary oh, Bannon? Yeah. Or a yeah. Gary Brandon? Ladies I have no gentlemen. idea who that is. Let's have a rundown of the jam-packed acts we have lined up for you on this jam-packed lineup on this jam-packed evening. Who wrote that? Too many things packed in jam. <laughs> Starting off tonight, we have the incredible Raj and Rishik. <laughs> Following that, we have an amazing acrobat who will do a, jumps all over the stage and stuff. And then finally, we'll have the lovely legs contest to end Act One, which I'm rather looking forward to myself, ladies. Then, starting oh, Act Two, we're going to have a magician who will do all magic and that. Then we're going to have a fire-breathing man who will be breathing fire. And then ending Act 2, we're going to have a daredevil who will dive into a bucket of water. All right. Then going into Act 3, we're going to have the unicyclist act. Then following that, the strongest man in the world, the strong man. And then finally, the grand finale. Now, for the grand finale, we asked little Sally Button what she wanted more than anything else in the world. And she had a very simple reply. I'd like a dancing chimpanzee, please, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we have managed to source a dancing chimpanzee for the finale of this show. How does that sound? Oh, there's no one here, is there? OK, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our first act of the evening. He's come all the way from India for this event. And let's just say he might have brought a little friend along with him. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please, welcome to the stage. It's the incredible Raj and Rishik. Raj and Rishik. As I said, it's... Uh, it is Raj and Rishik. To the stage. I mean, this is a nightmare. I mean, what is going on? I mean, is there, <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't working, is it? I mean, is there anyone around here who knows it? You, come here, come here, come here, come here. What is going on? It's young. Do you know what I'm saying at all? Why is he here? You, you come here, come here, come here. This is unbelievable. Hello, Mr. Bannon. Hello, yes, come here. Are you the, are you the producer, are you? No, I, I, I'm nobody, me. I, I just help the fellas unload the cameras. Right, from the fantastic, band. great story. Um, so, uh, do you know where the producer is? Ah, well, that's the problem. Get on with it, come on. With... Well, it, it turns out, you know, the roads around the capital are shut down. Cause yeah, the... yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it turns out uh, the producer, the director, most of the acts and also all of the audience are on the same bus oh. heading in and now they're stuck somewhere near Jamstable. Are you seriously telling me there's no one else around here who can sort this mess out? He's pretty good at organizing. No, well, no, obviously not. Okay, so uh, there is a like a free play mode, sir, where you can actually like it. There, I think there is like a free play mode where you can go in and kind of censor it or not censor it as you see fit. So, be excited. That's not gonna work, is it? Look at you. You're the producer now. 
Well done, that's great, big promotion for you. Now what you need to do is go away and find me a version of all the acts I've just promised the people at home. That, that's not really my thing, Governor. Well, do you know what? It is your thing now, Governor. Right? Or a child <laughs> drops down dead. So off you go, go do that, quick smart. All right. Uh, that fucking smile of his, dude. Okay, very good. Go away. Poor young. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce the first act of the evening. He's come all the way from India. I've read that. Don't repeat the same stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it's... They're not here, are they? No, they are here. Well, why didn't they come out the first? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Raj and Rishi. <laughs> <laughs> it's the... He was in the audience. He was the one guy sitting in the audience. Hello, everyone. My name is Raj. And you might be asking Rishi. Uh, so here he is. Uh, what's your name, Rishi? Whoops. And what do you do? I'm working in banking. <laughs> That's interesting. No, it isn't. Okay. You have anything else to say? No. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> Have you finished? <laughs> no, I finished. Yes, yes, I'm finished. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Raj and Rishik, play the sound for applause. We don't have anyone here. Okay. Well, fan f fantastic, I think. Uh, so, well done, Raj. Um, so, I know a little birdie told me you travelled in all the way from India just for this event. No, we cycled here. Oh. Uh, Rishik was cycling and I was sitting in the basket. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, now they laugh. Yeah, now they laugh. Um, uh, great joke, great joke. Um, so, uh, uh, is he a good cyclist, is he, Rishik? Why are you asking me? You can ask him. I'll ask him. Okay, that's setting something up. Okay, uh, uh, Rishik, are you a good cyclist, mate? Why are you talking to him? He's only puppet. Don't set a joke up with that if you're not going to follow it through. That ruins it, doesn't it? <laughs> You farted. <laughs> Graham farted. I didn't fart. I didn't fart. <laughs> he made the sound out of his mouth. He made the <laughs> stop doing that. Okay. Yes, you should be disappointed. Get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of crap. I like that you have to well, center to, to old <laughs> sensibilities. Acrobat's not here. Great, but I, uh, I've got an alternative. Okay. His name's James. Sounds good. He's not an acrobat. Sounds good to me. Bring him on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going to happen now, but please welcome to the stage. It's the incredible. It is James. <laughs> He's not an acrobat. Hello. Hello. Oh, I, I was just walking past the theatre when that guy came up to me and said, hello, we've got the perfect job for you. All you have to do is stand on stage, we'll pay you. It's something like that. Tell you what, I'll level with you here, James. We were expecting an acrobatic act now. <laughs> oh. Right. Old James. Yeah. Yes, 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 damn indeed, damn indeed. Um, uh, tell me, James, can you do acrobatics by any chance? No, I, I can't, no, I haven't since school. That'll be fine. You remember a lot from school. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, this acrobat James will now perform for you a series of double backflips. There's no way I can do that. Oh, well, I'll do some cartwheels. Uh, hey, I'm not going to do any cartwheels. But here's a job for you instead. Sweeping up the corpse of a dead girl. Start the music, please. <laughs> Come on. And that's the act. Absolutely marvellous. Sort this out. Where is it? Sort that out. Um, absolutely marvellous. Well done there. I'm sure we'll see a lot James. more James in the future. Good job there. Well done. You really... <laughs> that really worked out well. Worked out a treat. Yes, get off the stage. We've had two absolutely marvellous acts this evening. So James I think it's time James to have a look at it. what impact that's made on the old fundraiser. So, drum roll, please. Okay, looks like we still haven't made any money at all. That's a bit surprising. Um, perhaps I'll check in with the bombshells to find out exactly what's going. What are you doing there? 
Get out, sling your rock. Go on, go. You're upsetting the girls. Ladies. <laughs> I was expecting a little money in the old pot by now, ladies. Uh, have the callers not been particularly generous so far? We haven't had any callers so far. Are you serious? How dare you? How dare you? A child is quite literally dying somewhere out there, and you're too lazy to get up off your asses, go over to those phones we have, turn the dials, and pledge money to save her life. You greedy bastards. Sorry, Graham. Just found out the phone lines haven't been connected yet. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Young forgot to do it. Who's Young? Oh, that idiot, right. Come on, Young, got just a job for you. I'll give him an hand. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Yeah. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I love the pure awkwardness. I can offer only my greatest apologies. My outburst just now was directed at you, when it should, of course, have been directed at Yong. Please accept those apologies. <gasps> Poor Yong. Now it's time for the lovely legs contest. What better way to end tonight's program, the first part of tonight's program, than with a display of beauty and talent? Why do you want to talk to him? You ask him. So, for your viewing pleasure, these 10 out of 10s will be modelling the latest in fashionable swimwear. Graham? Uh, not now, love. I'm speaking to camera. Graham Donner's not here. So what? Well, we need four of us for the routine, so let's... Oh, we'll do the routine with three of you. I'll do it with three. Well... Does anyone else around here know it? Well, he was watching us rehearse earlier. Oh, well, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> Little pervert. Tell you what, slap a costume on and stick him at the back. That'll teach him. He doesn't know what's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was told... Fine, just fix. Great, sit there and take calls. When I was told <laughs> that I'd be judging the best legs out of a group of young, attractive women, I said, where do I sign? <laughs> well, I did sign, and that time is now. The time to look at women and judge them. Ladies and gentlemen, the first lovely lady to the a stage... product of their time. ...is Barbara. <laughs> Now, Barbara plays for the local women's amateur football team. So she can quite often be seen getting down and dirty of a Sunday lunchtime. I think it's fair to say this girl has seen more than her fair share of tackles. <laughs> Linda's up next. Linda is an avid Oh, girl. what culture. She can quite often be seen on a balmy summer's evening, tending to her petunias. She has a and tattoo. Her trimming a bush. How taboo. Deborah's up next. Deborah's a socialite, and Deborah likes nothing more than a nice night in the pub with the girls. Glugity glug glug glug. <laughs> but I tell you, forget the pub. Nice legs, love. What time do they open? It's just a bit of fun. And then finally, we have Donna. I mean, Yong, who's taking a uh, who's taking over Donna. <laughs> now, Don. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, that's really unpleasant, that isn't it? Uh, I wish I hadn't suggested it now. He hasn't shaved. Just, I mean, he knows the routine, but um, he has, doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> oh, Christ. OK, um, uh, Don, I mean, Yong is quite... I mean, this is this is appalling, isn't it? Can we, can we do this? I, I think we have to stop the music, actually. I, I don't think I can let this go on, to be honest. It's quite, quite, quite unpleasant. Um, why is he still doing that? Stop him dancing! Yeah, yeah. made all of you look bad, hasn't he? Look at him. He's pleased with himself, it looks like to me. He <laughs> makes all of you look bad when he's standing there looking like that, doesn't he? Absolutely pointless. It's, I'll tell you what else. It, it's pointless anyway, because obviously Deborah's got the best legs. Knew that going in. Do you know what? Just take him off the stage. It's, it, it, I'm angry. I'll tell you, if there was an audience, they'd be a-booing you, Yong. They'd be a-booing. <laughs> And that seems to me like the perfect place to end Act One on a bit of a high. So I'll tell you what, why don't you grab a, grab a drink, sit back, enjoy the adverts, and we'll see you after this. What are you doing? I'm setting up for the Act Two. I haven't finished talking! After the adverts, we'll see you back then. OK. Hey! 
Hey, back. Kenworth65, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Indie Darlings. Uh, I hope you enjoy your stay here. what I do and wait for the big fat check to come in. I hear that. <laughs> Any minute. But what's this? Susan, you silly moo. Why are you crying, you dozy tart? I've had enough. I've been trying to clean up this chicken grease all Sounds like day James, with my usual brand James of Ancaster. cleaning product, but it just won't come off. Oh, oh, look who that is! Look up Here who that is! Your husband. I hope you've thought of something. Honey, I'm home. That chicken looks delicious, and this chicken looks even nicer. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention, her husband is me, Dick Johnson. Lucky lady. <laughs> what with all this grease? This surface is filthy. <gasps> I'm sorry, darling. I've tried every cleaning product available, but I just can't solve these stubborn stains. Well, you haven't looked hard enough. I don't recognize this guy. Jazz. I don't recognize him. Jazz is proven by scientists to clean it's all of weird, the right? Only yeah, very weird. Clean. Look at the way it cuts through this grease. Wowzers. It is also completely harmless to skin, due to it being 99% lead-based. Oh. Thank you, darling. That's my wage, but poor little girl, she deserves better than this. All right, thank you. We're back in 10. Places, everybody. And we're going live in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the St Franny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. Here's Graham Bannon. Graham Bannon. Oh, the musical number. Shut up, Bozeman. I don't have rhythm, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the St. Fanny's Hospital's annual TV fundraiser for dying children. It's nice to be back. As a reminder, little Sally Button is still dying. But with your donations, she Who's may got? Yet Hello, live. welcome in. Let's have a little look about how much money has been raised. You're supposed to do it on beat, playing. like on beat with it. And also, one thing you can do is monitor up there where, the, like, you'll see the yellows that's and we the made greens. Girls. That's amazing. Yes, very good. And who do we have to thank her for these donations? One very generous donor, actually. Fantastic. Well, tell me their name so I can thank them live on national television. I don't actually know his name. Annoying. Thought we told you to take the names when you uh, answer the phones. It wasn't over the phone. It was um, it was him, the the guy, the new producer. He gave the money. Long time no right. see. So uh, we haven't had any. Refresh my memory. Refresh my memory. Because now I'm curious. Cool. So the phones still aren't working. No, the phones are working, and we have had a few calls, but none of them wanted to donate. It was mainly complaints against you. What do you mean complaints against me? Well, I think people think that you're a bit rude. Fudge on! Sorry for that <laughs> swear. Will you censor that if you want? A bit rude? People think I'm a bit rude. I played that. After all I've done and continue to do, people think I like this has blown my mind. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, magic has always been rude. I'll give them rude. <laughs> Here's the magic act. Nightmare. Yeah, you can do everything with keys or you can click. Cause, okay, so uh, the camera angles, you can use just one, two, three, and four for them. Uh, to look left, right, up, or down uh, is the WASD keys. And then to do censoring is the space bar, or you can just click the button. The only thing you cannot do without a mouse, uh, without using the mouse, is the uh, interference deal. Which I don't think this chapter actually utilizes the interference. This one was more kind of just for the entertainment purposes. Sir, you get that stuff's done. I love you. I will see you later. 
I hope you have a great rest of your day. And you and Lady get to spend some quality time together. Hello, everyone. I am the magician, the great bamboo gel. For the third magic trick, I will need two beautiful ladies' assistant. I like how it like jumped ahead. And I will also need a volunteer from the audience. Oh, no one is here. Yeah, I know it's stupid. I know it's stupid. You know it's stupid. I know it's stupid. Just go and do it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, in this trick, you will be sent to the another word, beautiful word. And for this magic trick to work, you need to go behind the sheet. Do I have to do this? Please pull the sheet up. Oh, God. Uh, now I'm going to say the magic word. I have to play that later, too. Alakazam, alakazoom. And uh, now you can drop the sheet for big reveal. You turned him into Yong. He's not here. Yeah. Slapping the chicken. And you can take the sheet. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not happy. I am not happy at all. I don't know if it's clear what happened there. I think it is. That's Raj. I'm not Raj. I'm the great bamboozle. Right. Well, that's not true, is it? There's lots of surprises, lots of interaction in Get there. off the stage. Get off the stage right now. <laughs> Don't play that sound! And then finally, what I and dying child Sally Button have been waiting for, it's the, the chimp dancing finale. Sorry, Graham, Graham, sorry. I don't think we should say there's going to be a chimpanzee. It's stuck on another bus. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm only going to say this once, mate. Ten out if of you ten. don't manage to source oh, yeah. a dancing chimpanzee, and it has to be a chimp, not an orangutan, for the end of this show, I am certain that the Okay, so you're actually the second person to say that. I need to look up who this person is. I don't know who Laser Beam is. So I'm going to look up Laser Beam real quick. Because you're the second person. He's an Australian YouTuber. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I can kind of see that. <laughs> Disappointment and fear on that little girl's face will cause her to just die like sometimes children do. And that'll be entirely your blimmin' fault. Graham, of course Shit. I care about Susie Button, who you've been calling Sally Button all evening, but I I'm, not, I'm not a producer. I, I, I don't know the first thing about booking dancing chimpanzees. I can try my best. That's it. That is as good as I will get a dancing chimpanzee, Graham. Now you're here, what can we expect next? I assume it'll be the fire-breathing man or something incredibly similar. No, nope, he's on the bus, but, but we've got something better. What's that? It's a group of teenagers from the Scritchford Dance Club. Right, that doesn't sound better to me than a fire-breathing man, but I suppose it's the best <laughs> we've got. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to stage. It's the dance, it's, it's this. <laughs> Hurry up. All right, here we go with the musical number again. Shut up, I don't have rhythm. When I walk down the street, waves of admiration from the people I meet that don't have much of a plan. Nothing you could understand So you can work as hard as you can But I'll be running late because it's crazy to be a man It's crazy to be a man Look at that, I'm a fabulous chap With a fancy pair of breeches and a gentleman's hat so fine, it's a fabulous time. You can even use the checkbook if I can't sign. Don't moan, you're the angel I own. Father with your father, now I'm taking you home. Thanks once more for all your help in the war. Why is there a There's an e in there. kitchen floor? I don't have much of a plan. Really, nothing that a pretty head could understand. So you 
can scream just as loud as you can. But I'll be doing well because it's swell. They added that flashing recently. It looks like a lot of people had trouble with this. I think a lot of people just don't have rhythm, like myself. I am the most unrhythmic guy. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You will ever really, find. Really rather good that. Um, I'll tell you what though, you little ankle biters. Uh, it is a weekday. Shouldn't you not be in school? Oh, get Ben. Oh, I will not get Ben. I will not get Ben. Get out of here. I won't get Ben. I won't get, I won't get Ben for anyone. <laughs> Bastards. Bastards. Drum roll, please. What? What? Wait, that, that carries on. Look at that. It's still going, but five grand. There's at least five grand. Girls, this is incredible. Uh, actually, we haven't made Not that back yet. then. Five supposed oh, whoops. to be a two. I think he's made a mistake. What do you mean, he's made a mistake? Who's he's made a mistake? Who's moving that machine? It's you! It's, it's you! <laughs> this is, you I actually have so to angry. you have to edit it to that time I sensibilities. That still moving. I thought that this was a brilliant state-of-the-art machine. But it isn't. It's just you sitting behind this, moving those boxes. You should be ashamed of yourself, Yong! Good news though, uh, we've now raised two grand for little Sally Button, so we're a tenth of the way to He keeps target. calling her Sally, her Absolutely name is fantastic. Susie. So now we're heading towards the end of the second act, stop talking. Hey, there it goes, there it goes. Hey, I'll say it again. Thank you for the sub, welcome to the Neat Freaks. Well, welcome back to the Neat Freaks, Polar. I appreciate you, boo-boo, thank you. Okay, the end of the second act, uh, I think I'm pretty sure um, James, the acrobat from earlier, will dive into that bucket of water now. No, I won't fudging dive into that bucket of water. A swear word there, apologies for that, hopefully they'll sort that out. No, fudge that. I just went to get my money, and he told me that you said I shouldn't get any money. Where's my money, Graham? Uh, well, what's happened there is that he's lying. He's not lying. That guy is the only one who gives a crap what is going to happen to that girl. You, Graham, are a drip. How dare you? I'm trying to save a kid's life here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just learned backstage that half of the 20 grand being raised here tonight is going directly to Graham Bannon as a performance <gasps> fee. Oh. What do you think of that, people at home? It's a fudging disgrace. I think, ladies and gentlemen, right now, live on stage, Graham should agree to donate his entire fee to Susie Button's family. How about it, Graham? How much you actually care about Susie's life? Ah, that's a difficult one. Have and a good now, one, Marshall. Of course, I care about... Enjoy the, the, enjoy the, the animals. Child. But I, I'm also pretty sure that the viewers at home want the talent to get paid fairly for their work. Actually, I have someone on the phone right now that says they don't want you to make any money from this. <laughs> yes, me too. I'm hearing Graham's a dork. Graham's selfish. Graham's cruising for a bruising. Yes, and basically all my callers are saying Graham's a twat. <laughs> so... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have decided, off my own back, to half my fee. 5,000 for the dying child, and 5,000 for Graham Bannon. Nope, that's baloney. Graham, if you care and don't want people at home to think you're spineless, you'll give it all to Susie. Put him on the motherfucking <laughs> spot. You know, Acrobat James, there comes a time in a man's life when he has to decide what sort of a man he wants to be. Are you going to donate the money? Yeah, I was just doing a speech about that, yes. Well done. So that should bring the tally up by 10,000. Plus, I'm happy to donate the fee they offered me of 150. You offered 150 for falling on your ass. So I make that to be 12,155. Young, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, there it goes, yeah, great. Hold on, Young. Okay, well, thanks so much for that helpful contribution there, James. I assume you'll now be getting into some lycra and diving into that bucket. No, I'm done. I'm going home. Thank you. No, you're not. Get in the bucket. Get in the bucket. Someone grab it and put it in this bucket. <laughs> we need someone to go in this bucket for the end of the act. Yes, yeah. Uh, found somebody. This is a nightmare. Oh, here he is. And right, who's right. going to be okay, diving so into the now, bucket? Ladies Viewing pleasure, this knucklehead will now dive off of this ladder into this 
bucket of water. Come on. Off you go. That's good. Great. Now, in the bucket. Great, but that's not tall enough. There's no water in the bucket. I don't care. I don't care if it breaks his neck. Come on, get in. Come on. Oh, you need to go in there. <laughs> Just pretend. Get in that bucket. Come on. Don't yeah, shake don't don't the ladder, Graham. Oh. And there we go, he's ruined that, hasn't he? What a shame. Oh, that's the end of Act Two. We'll see you back after the adverts. Fantastic. <laughs> back in one minute. What a knobhead. Did... Does anybody know if that's this? Yes, my dad's doctor. Is he going to die? Oh. You got to feel bad for the guy. This is just my regular brand of cigarette. Ain't nothing special. You're telling me you don't smoke lion cigarettes? Well, how could I? I never heard of lion cigarettes. How'd you like to try one? Well, why bother? The taste of lion cigarettes can't be that different from my regular brand. You're talking crap, Johnny. Lion cigarettes are <laughs> You're talking by crap, Johnny. Too. Make you up to 51% more intelligent. Make you 70% more attractive to women or homosexual men. And finally, make you fitter and healthier. You might have heard that cigarettes give you cancer. Well, not lying cigarettes. In fact, they'll decrease your chances by 100%. Give it a try, guys. Damn. Oh, Hold on. Something's happening. Whoa. One smoke of a lion cigarette, and I feel like a new man. <laughs> hey, hot stuff. Are you coming to bed? Don't mind me, champ. You run along now. That that strut, that lion shoulder cigarettes. strut. They'll make you sexually uh, attractive. We're back on intent. She's still unconscious. Let's take him. He's off. still okay. unconscious. Oh. And we're going live in five. They'll make four, you sexually attractive, three, even if you're not. Two. One. Welcome back to the St. Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. Graham Bannon is still here. Cut the music. If there's no audience, Graham Bannon doesn't dance. Hello and welcome to the third part of the St. Fanny's Hospital's annual... Well, it's not annual. They're not going to do another one, are they? TV fundraiser for dying children uh, and dying national television, it seems. And you know, speaking of dying, uh, is the child still dying? I'm pretty sure it is. And uh, looking at that, no more money has been raised while the advert's been playing. Um, so it looks like to me you continuing to do F all at home. There's two reasons for that. Hello. F One, all we have anybody in the phones. They're all backstage looking after Young, who you pushed off the ladder. Pretty sure he fell. And secondly, we don't have the guy who changes the counter anymore. You pushed him off the ladder. Tell you what, do I have to do everything? You go back there, grab Yong, bring him back in, put him over there, grab the girls, put them on the table. Then they can all do their stuff. Yong can sit there twiddling his boxes. Great. He's only just woken up and his neck might be broken. Doesn't have to move his neck. Look, my neck stays perfectly still. Go and get him. <laughs> I mean, that is unless you don't care about Sally Button. I mean, I assume you'll be donating your fee too. Yeah, I was the first to do it, Graham, about 20 minutes ago. Get off and get them. No more long speeches. <sighs> Bloody northerners. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, this is still happening. And we are still live. Taking your donations, if you can be bothered. If you want a girl to live, up to you. Oh, look, the girls are back. What a sight for sore eyes. In fact, talking of sore eyes, went to my opticians the other day, and guess who I bumped into there? Absolutely everybody, because I couldn't see. <laughs> Boo! Got How many girls? You're a pig. All right, so let's have another act. Any more acts? Anyone who's not stuck on a fudging bus or something? Oh, look, the stripper's arrived. Oh, God. Keep him over there. OK, right, we need something else now, well, don't, don't we? We need an act or something. Uh, girls, any callers we can put through? Actually, I have someone on the phone right now you might like to speak to. Absolutely fantastic. Put them through. And on top of that, she's been rather horrible to that little boy. She sounds about 100. Uh, hello there and welcome. I have a fun fact about this once this call is over. Get ready for this. Come, then, 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 then welcome to the show. Uh, uh, what's your name, please? Who's that? It's Graham Bannon. You're horrible. Why has she been put through? Don't put one through to think I'm horrible, obviously. That might be a bit difficult. This is so crazy that the, everything I've done for all these people, I'm they still... still... Why is she still there? Cut her off! 
We're not putting any more through. We're having another act. Oh, ooh. Let's just... Who is that? So, that older woman, uh, I may have one tiny fact here wrong, but that's actually the guy who plays Graham Bannon's grandmother. And then he also does the voice of this next scholar. And stop putting people through! Uh, all right, I'd like to donate a tunnel, please. Aha, we have a serious gentleman on now. Hello, sir. Did you say you'd like to donate a tenner? Hey, that's right. I'd like to donate a tenner. A tenner to the fund to stop Graham Bannon being on TV, huh? No, no, no. Don't play the laugh sound. It wasn't funny. Oh, so you think you could do better, do you? Hey, that's right. OK. The stage is yours. Go on. Tell a joke. Tell a wee joke. All right, I'll do the wee joke. How many Graham Bannon does it take to screw in the light bulb? I'm not going to like this. That depends on the fee. No! The joke was horrible! The joke was horrible! No! We're not having horrible jokes. We're not doing any more of that. We're not having any more callers. I think they're stupid and also they seem drunk to me. Uh, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, he was in, So, he actually came by the stream when I streamed this chapter the first time. Uh, and he was telling me, he actually, yeah, he did the voice for that... Uh, for, for that caller. So it's him that did that voice. Right, what's next? We need another act. Where's the next act? We have sorted the monkey problem. This is brilliant. This is brilliant news, Ross. Bring it on. Uh, he's very shy. That's fine. That's fine. We can be, we're, we're dead fine. Bring it on. It wants everyone to close their eyes for big reveal. Okay, right. Everyone close your eyes for the big reveal. Don't ruin this, girls. Close your eyes. We are ready. <laughs> Monkey. It's a very big. Okay. <laughs> you can open your eyes now. Okay. It's a very strong. It's so Monkey. it's carrying me on its back, and it says banana. It's offering banana to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. not a real monkey. That is not a real banana, is it? And these are not your legs. Ouch. Ouch! Get off the stage, I'll give you ouch! Right, we need something else. It's time for another act. Where's the unicyclist? Get him on. Have the bloody unicycle act. Swearing, apologies for that. Hopefully that gets censored by them. Graham, we've got the unicycle, but we don't have the, the guy That's who fine. rides it. That's fine, we don't need the guy that rides it. I'm the guy that rides it. Bring it on. <laughs> Graham, bring I, the I damn don't thing. Think you should try. I don't care what you think. Bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Ladies and gentlemen, for your pleasure, Monkey. I will now be performing for you the unicycle act. Can I have a volunteer? No one's here. Yes, they are here. Hello, young. Right, okay, this is good. You'll like this, you'll like this. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do now that. is grab the unicycle and jump over this arsehole. Yep, very good. Right, okay. Start the music. Drum roll, please. It's going to be good, John. Protect your face, baby. Okay, and here we go. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, my arm. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay, that, that's not it. Okay, well, that's the act, I think. Ow, I don't think I can do that again. Um, that's the act. I suppose that's what happens if you pay peanuts. Uh, you, ow, you get monkeys. Well, don't you know, you don't always get monkeys, do you? Sometimes you just get someone wearing half a monkey costume where it looks like their legs are the monkey's legs, which apparently is just as good. So, um, so great, okay. So, we need another monkey. act, don't we? We need somebody else on here doing something. Do we have the strong man? That's what it says on the auto cue, the strong man. Oh, oh, sorry, I don't want to be in the way of this. It's Raj in it again. The screams. Is that good? Is that entertaining? Is that what you want? Raj doing that, laughing. Is this going to save a child's life? And speaking of saving a child's life, are we doing that? Has any more money been raised? How much more money's been raised? It's Raj, actually gone down gotta a bit. love People him. People are asking for the money back, and I think you're scaring them. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Come on, do what you're getting paid to update the score. Come on, put it down. Great. So the money pops down, and still less money. So even more to raise for the girl in the next five minutes. Brilliant. Right, what we need is to do a get rich. Hey, what up, Daythor? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I've got an idea. 
Just had it. Looking at these how's ladies. Your, how's, uh, I know what. how's your Let's set up jaw? a little kissing booth. Nice little table, nice little cloth, little bit of lipstick. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Ten or a pop. Right, I'm sure these lads would like it. They've been ogling them all evening, the perverts. That sounds good to me. Right, so how much for a kiss, ladies? No, Graham, you're bleeding. Does it? Oh, don't be such a tease. Go on, Linda, puck it up, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Linda, I needed that. Okay, well, that has gone wrong. That has gone awry. Awry. I'm sorry if that's my fault in any way. I don't know if it is. Got my... I think I know whose fault that might be. He looked right at Yong. That's a, a good shame. problem to have. What a shame. I'll level with Field? you. Nice. Uh, it's, it's looking unlikely we're going to make money. Haven't got long left. That's awesome, man. I'm glad to hear it, dude. It looks I really like am. That might be the end for little Sally. Susie. It is actually Susie. Whatever. <laughs> She'll be dead soon. <laughs> and so will my career. <gasps> no. So, uh, so two deaths in the same evening. And if you ask me, it'd be hard to weigh them. They're both equally sad deaths. <laughs> Oh, well, well, that's the end of that. Uh, I suppose that's the end of the show, then. Uh, thank you very much. Graham! Graham! <laughs> Great news. The monkey's turned up. Yeah, it's not the monkey, is it? It's just Raj or something pissing yeah, around. No, it is a real monkey. Look, I haven't got time for this. It's obviously it's not a real monkey. They Don't got, get my hopes did up. Did they get the it. monkey? Oh, my God! Wow. Oh, my God! That is a real monkey. Yes! There it is! Get away from it. Get away Get from it. it. Ah, it's a real monkey. <laughs> now we can do the Wait, you hurt your back trying to cheer your mom? Did career. you try to do a cartwheel? Come on. Just do the dance. A snowball fight? Dude. Get it. Don't scratch your head. Do the dance. Monkey. Come on, do the dance. Come on, do the dance. I have dance not been streaming for very long. Do the dance there. Do I have to spell everything out to you? Put your arm in? Oh, crap. No, no, oh, he's punching me. Oh, Somebody shoot it. Oh, Somebody shoot it. Harambe. Oh, Harambe. Oh, no. I've had enough. I'm the producer. I'm in charge. I want everyone to stop and listen to me. Oh. We've forgotten what's important here. A little girl's life's on the line. We're all acting like children. But um, Listen up. Do as you're told. Linda, Deborah, Barbara and Raj, get on the phones. We've still got enough time to get some donations, but we need all hands on deck. Uh, Young, I know you don't understand what I'm saying, but we will get you to a hospital as soon as the show is finished. Just hang in a little bit longer, OK? Yeah, that's fine. Wait. And you, Mr Bannon. I didn't even know he spoke English. People used to look up to you as the face of national television. Look at you now, eh? You uh, they're trying to raise the money for a little Susie Button who is dying of some kind of disease that Graham could not, uh, could not pronounce. And that's what they've been trying to raise $20,000 for. Full of crap. <gasps> you better pull yourself together, son. Because chimps, chimps don't dance for bastards. We're all here Got working him. together as a team to try and save somebody's life. Apologize to him and ask him nicely to finish the show. <sighs> Chimpanzee, please, will you do your little dance to save the life of young Susie? Oh, no. <sighs> you got the name right. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, the little girl's life is on the line and I've got just the job for you. Please donate to this worthwhile cause. We, we really can do some good here. It's like me old mam used to say. You can keep your money in your pocket, but people will call you a stingy cunt. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Peter Clement, television producer, here Boom. to tell you that if we work together as a team, anything's possible. And that is a Peter Clement promise. Thank you and good night. Take it away.
I just want you to know. So for those of you, for those of you who have been around for this, his name, Peter Clement, that is the prime minister that was getting shocked in the previous broadcast. That's, that was, I thought, an amazing little, like, cameo Easter egg type thing in here. I thought that was really cool. Next draw as soon as this is over. So what? 33 seconds? Whoops. After this last little number. Look at my viewership though. Shut up, Bozeman. I just want to watch Graham do his dance. Monkey. Fantastic Nasty and Legends, and thank you very much. Good night. Right. Down the pub. Pints Absolutely on pizza, eh? How about that? We did it. We did it. Turns out, if you work as a team, you can do anything. And they've left him. Oh, well. There's always next year. Boom, segment grade A plus, uh. It didn't really affect the actual story, all right.